In my short study, this board is using U-Boot as a boat loader, neither UEFI nor BIOS. I know some of you are accustomed to get the image from the company who made the OS, but here is the situation. Remember, this is ARM. You have to have a specific image to boot an OS. On Ubuntu official site, the current image is customized for Raspberry Pi only. However, you can have Ubuntu image on the Orange Pi official page. On Manjaro official site, Orange Pi 5 has not yet released. You have to wait. On Armband official site, it is the same as Manjaro. You have to wait for the release. But on GitHub, someone made an image. Maybe you can try it. OP Hub. It is... Uh, here. Here in this video, I'm going to use Debian image on Orange Pi official site. Also on their Chinese website, you can get the latest 1.0.8 Debian here. I'm going to use this one. Now it's downloaded, so I'm going to extract it here. You will get the image file. Also, because I have used this SD card before, uh, which runs Android image. I'm going to right click disk management. I'm going to delete all the volume here. So I have deleted all the partitions. Now we can and if you have a SD card formatter you better use this one. Okay, now let's flash it. I'm using Etcher here, which is a very simple tool. We can choose the flash from file. We can choose this one. We just download it here. Open. And we can choose the TF card we're using. Yes, I'm sure. Now just wait. It says flash failed, but don't worry, it works. So this is the TF card we just made. We just put it on like Raspberry Pi. Now let's put it. So after some times of waiting, we have it booted. Now we power it off. We can put our SSD on it. This is uh, the one I'm using is Intel Optin, which is really cheap. I got it about uh, five US dollars. So we have a provided TF card here. And uh, we have our SSD here. Now we can boot it up. Now let's go to applications terminal. Now you need to input SATA install. The password, the default password is Orange Pi. Okay, now we can choose number seven. Install update the bottle loader on SPI flash. And we choose yes. Okay, we have uh, we have it installed. As you can see, we have it down here. It takes about six minutes on my machine. So just be patient. Now we are going to copy the image file we have used before. We will copy this one to our USB drive. One thing you should know is that uh, uh, on the Debian image, you better use NTFS because EXFAT, it does not recursionize it. Mm -hmm. 
So let's wait again. I have copied my image file. Here I'm going to put on my desktop. So let's open terminal. We can check the files. The second thing we should make sure our NVMe SD has been recursionized by the system. So let's check this command. As you can see, my NVMe SSD has been successfully recursionized. So let's do the next step. Now let's put the image file. So it is done. Now we can power it off, put the TF card out. After we flash it, we power it off. Make sure you take your TF card out. It is because this one and this one, we have the same UUID. So sometimes if you have both of them, sometimes the system got confused. Flashing SATA SSD is similar to NVMe SSD procedure, but it's more complex. So after we boot into the TF card system, we open the terminal. If you have no idea how it gets to here, please follow in from the beginning of this video. So we will check the SPI files for SATA SSD. Let's do it. So this is the SETA file for SPI. Now we're going to flash it. After that, sudo sync. Now we are going to copy the image file we have used before. We will copy this one to our USB drive. One thing you should know is that uh, uh, on the Debian image, you better use NTFS because EXFAT, it does not recursionize it. So let's wait again. I have copied my image file. Here I'm going to put on my desktop. So let's open terminal. We can check the files. Now let's put the image file. After it is flashed, do not power it off. We need to do something extra. First, we mount the bolt partition. Now we edit the configuration file. As I mentioned before, because I don't have a SATA SSD with me, the actual file might be very different from what you see here. So make sure you just change the overlays to SSD SATA.
press Ctrl X, we X and save it. Now we shall unmount it. Now you can power it off. After we flash it, we power it off. Make sure you take your TF card out. It is because this one and this one, we have the same UID. So sometimes if you have both of them, sometimes the system got confused. 